Hey everybody, Chad Hasty here, host of the Chad Hasty Show, which airs weekday mornings 8.30 to 11 a.m. Central Time on News Talk 95.1 FM and 7.90 a.m. KFYO. Well, I just read a uh, pretty disturbing story, actually, about United Airlines. And United Airlines, if you remember last year, there was a little bit of a controversy after they escorted a passenger uh, off of one of their airlines, and uh, it was kind of beat up pretty badly. Uh, if you remember that, of course, it's one of uh, our most watched videos here on the KFYO YouTube site. Well, this will probably eclipse that because United Airlines is basically responsible for the death of a puppy. No, seriously, they are. Reading from the Houston Chronicle here, the headline, Puppy Dies on United Flight Out of Houston After Passenger Told to put the dog in an overhead compartment. Uh, the 10-month-old puppy died on the flight out of Houston's uh, uh, airport Monday evening after a United Airlines flight attendant told the dog's owner to put the dog in the overhead compartment. Shortly after boarding United Flight 1280 floor to New York's LaGuardia, the passenger was told to place the 10-month-old Frenchie uh, and its carrier to put it into the overhead compartment. Uh, June Laura, a passenger who sat behind the owner uh, on the flight, told the Houston Chronicle Tuesday afternoon, Quote, however, the flight attendants on the flight, UA-1284, felt that the innocent animal was better off crammed inside the overhead container without air and water, Laura wrote on Facebook. They insisted that the puppy be locked up for three hours without any kind of airflow. They assured the safety of the family pet to those who were traveling. Uh, of course, United Airlines, they do have a pet policy, and it says that uh, the carrier, uh, the dog must be, or any pet, must be in a carrier that fits completely under the seat of the uh, customer and remain there at all times. The airline released a statement, which they said they're investigating the death of the dog, and yes, they actually do take responsibility. Quote, this was a tragic accident that never should have occurred, as pets should never be placed in the overhead bin. Like, what kind of moron doesn't already know that? I, I applaud United Airlines for at least acknowledging that their flight attendant was pretty stupid here. But what type of person actually thinks, you know, we're on a three-hour flight. I don't care if it's an hour flight, a uh, 45-minute flight. What kind of person thinks putting an animal into the overhead compartment where there's no air is a good idea? I, you have to be a complete moron to think that's a good idea. United Airlines continued, We assume full responsibility for this tragedy and express our deepest condolences to the family and are committed to supporting them. We are thoroughly investigating what occurred to prevent this from ever happening again. And there's actually pictures of the dead dog uh, on the Houston Chronicles website. It's a very sad story. Uh, and it's one of those where, come, you know, United Airlines and all these airlines uh, out there, they've had a lot of bad press in the last few years, you have to use a little bit of common sense. And now I know some of the airlines are sick and tired of uh, support animals traveling like the, the, the support, uh, you know, uh, snakes and the uh, support uh, raccoons and, you know, uh, support cats and uh, support uh, peacocks that we've all heard about. Yeah, th those though, those are, you know, silly, silly things to have happen. But a puppy, you're going to put a puppy in an overhead compartment and think that's okay? And especially on a three-hour flight, how stupid are you? I really think that this is going to be a much bigger story uh, than that uh, guy who was escorted off of the United Airlines flight last year. And here's why. People overall like dogs and puppies a heck of a lot more than they like other human beings. And when a flight in an airline is basically responsible for the death of a puppy, yeah, that's a bad PR day. Really bad. Tune in to the Chad Hasty Show weekday mornings, 8.30 to 11 a.m. Central Time. News Talk 95.1 FM, 7.90 a.m. KFYO. And please, to the other airlines out there, do not kill any other puppies. Don't do it. It's a bad idea.